Hello and welcome to Crafting Examples for Pathfinder 2nd Edition Remastered. If you haven't already watched our video on basic crafting rules, you should probably do so before viewing this example. A link to that video may be found in the description. Also, this video follows the rules provided in the remastered version of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. If your game is using the original Legacy 2nd Edition rules, then please see a link in the description that will take you to my series on Legacy Crafting. In this example, Gamera is going to craft a suit of half-plate armor. She is 3rd level with trained proficiency in crafting and a skill bonus of plus 6. The first requirement is item level. There is no item level listed for half plate armor, so it defaults to item level 0. Gimra is 3rd level, so she meets this requirement. The second requirement is proficiency. As a 0 level item, trained proficiency is all that is needed to craft this. Third, does she need a special feat to make half plate armor? It's not magical, alchemical, or a snare, so she does not need any feats to make this. Fourth, does she have the proper tools? We'll say she purchased an artisan toolkit and labeled it as smithing tools on her character sheet. And the local blacksmith is letting her use their forge, so this requirement is covered. Fifth, does she have a formula for half plate armor? Technically, she doesn't need a formula to make half plate since it is common rarity. But we'll say that she purchased a basic crafter's book and therefore does have the formula since that book includes all of the level 0 common items that are found in chapter 6 of the player core book, which does include half plate armor. And the last requirement is materials. Half plate is listed with a price of 18 gold pieces, so she must provide 9 gold up front to begin her work, and must provide 18 gold worth of materials or discounts in order to complete the armor set. She spends one day of downtime working on the armor, at the end of which her player rolls a crafting skill check. Note that she is able to roll this check after only one day of work because she has the formula. If she was not crafting with the formula, she would need to spend two days of downtime working before rolling this check. She rolls her crafting skill, and the GM compares the total to a DC that they set in secret. For this, we'll say the GM set a DC of 14. Gimra rolls a D20 and adds her crafting bonus of plus 6. If she rolls a 7 on the die, then she fails, which means that her day of work was wasted, but she still gets her 9 gold pieces worth of materials back and can try again tomorrow. If she rolls a natural 1, then she critically fails and not only wasted her day of work, but also loses 10% of the materials. In this case, we convert the 9 gold pieces to 90 silver pieces, and she loses 10% of that, or 9 silver leaving her with 81 silver pieces worth of material. She can start the process over and try again, provided that she can replace the 9 silver pieces worth of lost materials. But if Gimmer rolls an 8 or higher on the die, then she succeeds. She now has two options. The half plate armor has a remaining balance of 9 gold pieces that needs to be covered. She can either pay that 9 gold and instantly finish her work, or she can spend another day of work to lower that balance. She decides to invest another day into crafting the armor. To learn how much this lowers the remaining balance by, we need to look at the income earned table on page 229 of Player Core 1. Gimra is third level and trained, so every extra day of work lowers the remaining balance by five silver pieces. If she had rolled a critical success, then she would be treated as if she was fourth level and would lower the balance by seven silver pieces after each extra day of work. But for this example, we're going to say that she succeeded, but not critically succeeded. So after the second day of work, the remaining balance lowers from 9 gold pieces to 8 gold and 5 silver, or it might just be easier to call it 85 silver pieces. At this rate, it will take her more than 2 weeks of additional work to finish the suit of armor, 
but she only expects to have three more days of downtime before her party leaves town to continue their adventures. So she decides to spend the rest of her available time working on the armor, which lowers the remaining balance from 85 silver to 70, and at the end of the fifth day of work, she pays the remaining 70 silver pieces to finish her suit of half-plate armor. She and her GM are provided as much flexibility as they like to explain this within the narrative. It's unlikely that on the evening of the fifth day, Gimera simply threw seven gold coins at the half-finished suit of armor and it magically completed. Instead, she and her GM decide to explain the final expense as money she paid to a trio of local apprentice blacksmiths who assisted her throughout the process so she could complete the entire suit of armor in only five days. If you would like to see the companion course that explains the rules behind this example, you can find a link to it in the description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I would like to take a quick moment to thank everyone who supports me in this channel by clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, or subscribing to the Patreon. Thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.